What's up, fellow vapers? Scott with the Vaping Budget here today, and it is Sunday Fun Day. And for this Sunday Fun Day, we're going to show you guys how to do a dual coil build on the K-Fun 3.1 BS. We're going to be using some 30 gauge Canthal. We're going to wrap this bad boy coil around a 2 millimeter micro screwdriver and get it right at around 1.5 ohms. I had a viewer comment and ask me to do a dual coil build on the K-Fun around 1.5 ohms. So today, Chris, is your day. I told you I was going to do it, so here it is, buddy. And also, I rearranged the vape corner had to move some stuff around, make some new room for stuff that I wanted to put up in my vape corner and have available to me to vape on, build with, and that. So here it is. And, and also I got all my giveaways organized and I wanted to show you guys what I have for giveaways. I'm not gonna show you what the items are, you're just gonna have to wait till they come up. And here they are. All these are giveaways. Each one of these uh, post office packages has a giveaway in it. So we got the four for September. We've got four above here that you guys don't know what they are. The thousand subscriber giveaway is right here. I've got three so far. And part of that thousand subscriber giveaway, we got the, the Panzer clone with matching RDA. Couple other ones I'm not gonna tell you about until we reach 1,000 subscribers. The thousand subscriber giveaway is right around 250 to 300 bucks so far for giveaways and right now we have the 500 subscriber giveaway going on that's going to go until we reach 600 and it's right in here that giveaway is over 100 bucks by itself and i'm already building and adding to that 5,000 subscriber giveaway we have one two three four five six seven giveaways already I'm only at 500 and I'm already planning when I reach 5,000 but enough about giveaways let's get into the Sunday fun day build on the K-Fun 3.1 and get those dual coils in there at around 1.5 ohms so stay tuned <laughs> Welcome back, mates, to the Sunday Fun Day How To video. And like I said, we're gonna do a dual coil build on the K-Fun, get it right around 1.5 ohms for Chris Cottle. He asked me to do it, so we're gonna do it. I know a lot of you guys out there are wanting to know how to do a dual coil build, get it around 1.5 ohms on a K-Fun or a Fogger or a any of those RTAs out there, so we're gonna do one today. So let's get right into the build, go close up, and let's Build this baby with dual coil. All right, guys. So here we are with the K-Fun 3.1. I got it all broke down here. What you're going to need for this build is some tweezers, a micro screwdriver at two millimeters or the equivalent in a drill bit. I have about 18 inches of uh, 30 gauge Kenthal. This time we're using uh, 30 gauge from Vapo wire, uh, micro torch or any torch, and your K fun. So let's get to building, shall we? All right, guys, we're ready to start our first coil here. We got the 30 gauge Kenthal. We're going to go with uh, 13 wraps on this 2 millimeter micro screwdriver, and that should give us the resistance of 1.5 in the dual coil. So here we go. I did cut this wire in half to make it easier to do the two coils. You want to leave about three quarters of an inch to an inch lead on there before you start your coil, so you'll have plenty of wire to attach it to the base. Now this 30 gauge wire is not fun to work with so uh, just bear with me here and we'll see how tight we can get these wrapped. But you want to wrap them as tight as you can. We've got three there, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And you want to go past it, 
just about like that. There we go. You want to make sure your leads are coming off in the same direction. There we go. We got our first coil done. It's not perfect, but with 30 gauge canthal being so difficult to work with, I'll take it. Just trim our lead off right there. All right, and we'll do the same thing on our second coil. All right, we got our second coil built, so we got the two of them here. All we need to do now is torch them up. All right, let me get the first coil. I like to take the two ends, kind of hold them together about like that, and then crimp the coil down. You want to crimp it so you can get it as straight as possible. Torch it up. All right, there's our first one. Now we just got to torch the second one. There we go, second one is torched. All right, guys, we got the coil back on the micro screwdriver, and we're going to go ahead and attach the two coils to the base here. I just got it sitting on top of my uh, ohms reader. Kind of makes it a little easier for me to work on and not have this fumbling around. Now, how I hook two coils onto this little trick that I found out is I hold the coil kind of on the edge here, down along the side, and then I'll take the wire. I go counterclockwise with the first one. Then I move it over here to this side, then go ahead and move the coil over to this side, and then go ahead and attach, wrap your second coil around the post, and sometimes if you need, just go ahead and grab your tweezers to grab a hold of that, or, or a pair of needle nose pliers, or whatever you need to do to get a hold of that coil. Now we need to check and see if it's going to come up where we need it to be. We're a little too far off, so a little trick is to unwrap that, pull it a little tighter, go ahead and wrap it around. We need the coil closer, so I gotta unwrap it. And there we go. We got our first coil. That's going to work out great right there. You just want to make sure that that coil doesn't extend out past the base. This ring right here that your cone is going to go down over. So, And we can adjust the coil up and down once we get both of them on here and get them secured down to the base. Alright guys, we're ready to attach our second coil here. We'll go ahead and wrap this one counterclockwise too as well. It just makes it easier for me to get these coils on here wrapping it that direction. Yours you can wrap any way you like. Let's go around, grab our tweezers. Boom. Second coil. Wrap it around. Boom. It's back in the frame here. Sorry about that, guys. This 30 gauge is a pain in the butt, and I hate working with it. All right, so there we go. We got both of them attached on there. I got the leads coming out the ends of both of them here. You can see I got both leads here, both leads here on your positive and your negative. Checking our height on this one, and we should be good on that one as well. So all right guys, we're ready to tighten down the two coils to the positive and negative posts. We got both of our leads coming out of each end. 
the two over here and two over here on the positive and negative. I got two micro screwdrivers, one in each one to help hold them down so they don't get pulled in and get messed up when we tighten these down. So here we go, we'll tighten down the positive first. All right, there we go, we got the positive connection done. Now we just gotta crank down the negative. And there we go. Now what we gotta do is just pull each coil up, just a hair on each side. All right, ready to check our ohms here. Oh, we came at 1.67. We're shooting for 1.5. We came in a little higher. I think it was because of the leads. I had the leads on here a little longer than I like, but that will definitely work. So all we gotta do now is trim off our leads, both ends. There we go. Now we gotta do is wick this bad boy. All right, guys, we're ready to wick this, but I wanted to show you how high I have the coils up from the airflow. You can see there, here is the two millimeter screwdriver. So about the width of that is how high I have, oop, bumping the camera, sorry. About as high as that two millimeter. So I got them about two millimeters, maybe two and a half up from the airflow. And that'll help get that airflow around the two coils and through the center. All right, guys, we're ready to wick this. Just go ahead and grab some, uh, organic cotton off that which should be way more than enough let's just go ahead and we'll tear that about there take this and go about in half with it and then kind of bunch it up together a little bit here just so we can get it through the coil that can go away all right we'll go ahead and wick our first one like I've said in my past videos my general rule of thumb is to put enough cotton in there so it is snug but doesn't move the coil so just kind of go a little less than you need and it will be and you'll have plenty in there too uh, for wicking so there we go first one is wicked Come over to our second one and this is fairly loose in here with the cotton I don't want to go too crazy and pack them coils too tight and so there we go there's our second one now right, when you want to wick this you want to cut your cotton even with the bottom part of the deck here right above where this wicking channel comes up you want your cotton to lay right there so let's go ahead and just go ahead and cut both of them here real quick there we go Here's the first one, and just grab both ends again, bring them down, and then I just let the scissors ride along that deck there that we're cutting, angle it down just a little bit, and there's our second one. There we go, dual coils are wicked. And it does help to pull that cotton down and hold it down and then just run your scissors like I said, let me show you guys here. You want your cotton even. Show you guys up close here. You want your cotton even with this deck right there. And it does help to pull both of them down and then just run your scissors along that to cut it. All right, now all we gotta do is saturate our wicks here. I'm gonna be using the Blue Dragon from Smooth Liquid. I haven't vaped on this in a while and uh, should be a good build to use it on. You just want to get your cotton saturated but not dripping. Now placement of the cotton on the K-Fun is critical to not get any leaking or uh, burnt hits. You want that cotton just drapes down along that ridge right here below your coils. I'll show you on the other side here. Let's go ahead and pull this one up that ledge right there so just take your cotton 
Hold this side a little. Just take your cotton and drape it down. Tuck it down in there. Just like that. Just like that. Now we got our dual coils wicked. Go ahead and put our uh, flavor cone, our reduced chamber on this. Double check our arms, we came out 1.64. Not bad. Now you can go ahead and fire it, make sure it fires good. I'm not gonna worry about it in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and put our uh, tank on here. Put some juice in there. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up here. I just got it just up a little bit on the uh, reduced chamber here. So that way we can check and make sure this is going to vape good. We don't have any problems with it, leaking, gurgling, we need to move the cotton or whatever. So that way if we do need to take this tank back apart and move something in there, we don't have to waste a whole bunch of e-juice. So there we go guys. 1.66 dual coil 30 gauge Canthal build on the K-Fun. Well let's go up and see how she vapes. So right, guys, we're back up ready to give the k-fun 3.1 a vape see how it vapes with those dual coils in nice vapor so all right there you go chris there's your dual coil at 1.5 ohm build on the k-fun 3.1 i hope you enjoy the build on it i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope it was helpful to you and anybody who wants to do a dual coil build on the k-fun i will put a link below for you guys to steam engine uh, you can punch in your wire that you're using, your uh, size of coil you're building, your target resistance, and it'll tell you how many wraps to do, whether you're doing a single, dual, triple, or quad coil build. I'll put that link below. It's really helpful to you guys. I use it to get the target resistance. I use it on this build. Just remember with all your builds, be safe, you guys. Get something that you can check your ohms with. Make sure you don't have any shorts and just be safe. And as always, with these tutorial builds, build at your own risk. So, all right, let's give this another vape. Great flavor. I absolutely love the flavor coming out of the K-Fun. You really, for flavor, you just can't beat it. It's a great tank for that. Vapor's great out of it. You put this bad boy on a 30 watt mod, crank it up, you're gonna get some awesome, awesome vapor out of it and the flavor is just gonna be increased. So all right guys, that wraps up the Sunday Fun Day Build. And I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was and you like it, go ahead and click that little like button. And remember, live and let live. Have fun living your life and have fun watching people live theirs. And have an awesome week coming up.